During this educational video, we will review how to determine which motor to order off of a parts list if you need a replacement motor for your Akron Brass product. We will begin by looking at the basic features on the motor and then address the motors specific to the Streammaster monitor and how to determine which type that you have. Finally, we will take a look at where to find additional literature and documentation for this and other Akron Brass products. The first question to answer when trying to locate replacement parts, motor or otherwise, is what is the style number of the product? That will allow you to locate the parts list for the product. After that is the issue of the approximate age of the product. Some have had design changes that affected their parts lists. In the case of motors, the major change was, was the switch from the round ITT connector on the older units to the Deutsch connector with the newer ones. A review of the parts diagram on the parts list will often show which one the motor part number is for, or list both options. Now let's take a look at a motor issue specific to the Streammaster monitor. The Streammaster monitor gets special mention here because of a design change that will have a direct impact on motor selection. Specifically in July of 2010, we changed the gearing on the elevation motor to go from a 5 to 1 gear ratio to a 7 to 1 gear ratio to get more torque to lift heavier nozzles. The top motor has the original 5 to 1 gearing, which is still used by the rotation motor. The lower motor has the 7 to 1 gearing, which is visibly noticeable by the longer distance from the end of the motor to the bottom of the gear housing, which is caused by the addition of a spacer for the new gearing. To summarize, if the distance above is less than 5 inches, you have the old gearing. If it is more than 5 inches, you have the new gearing. Or, lacking a ruler, just compare the elevation motor to the rotation motor. These two pictures show the reason for the different motor subassembly part numbers. Not that the motor itself is different, but the gearing attached to it has changed. The newer gearing uses an 8-tooth gear versus the original 12-tooth gear. The smaller new gearing is the reason the spacer is required. The good news if you have an older monitor and it has trouble trying to lift a heavier nozzle is that there is a drop-in upgrade kit available to convert it to the newer elevation gearing. The kit shown here includes the motor and the gear housing, as well as the first set of planetary gears. Simply remove the four screws on the gear housing and pull off the motor assembly, then fasten the new one in its place. To find product information and parts lists, visit our website at akronbrass.com and search using the product name or style number, or look in our Technical Document Center located under the Customer Support section of the website.